Abundance doesn't mean more money. That's one aspect of abundance. It's where my belief, my own limited belief of thinking in abundance started, right? So we think of abundance in the terms of having more than we need and enough to share. But if that's where you're starting from, you're already in scarcity. Welcome to Body of Truth. I am Rebecca Windsor. Body of Truth was born after 25 years, uh, I would say probably the last four of living a complete mythology and charade based on the previous years. Uh, my marriage ended quite suddenly. And then shortly after that, my son went off to college and I was forced to rebuild my entire life from the ground up. My identity, what I wanted, what I believe in, what I chose to hold is true, which turned out to be not true and it hadn't been true for quite some time. So in that rebuilding process, I really went through a lot of gut-wrenching work uh, to rebuild, uh, determining what actually was the truth and what were stories that I've been carrying around for most of my life. But the most powerful lesson that I learned that really helped dramatically alter the course of my life was that by making the same decisions every single day, consistently over and over with means of a physical trigger made those new decisions able to embed in my physical body through muscle memory. Then I was able to change the neural pathways in my brain. And then once you've manifested a new reality inside, it's much easier to manifest that new reality outside yourself. So what I offer here is some of those tips and techniques I wanna share with you what worked for me so you don't need to spend more time than necessary really in the dark night of the soul, whether you're entering separation or you're in the divorce process because I know what that's like. So today's, what really came up for me today was the idea that you cannot have abundance in one area unless you have it in all areas, right? So I break down the four areas. A, a mentor told me this, and I, I think the codification of this is really brilliant. So it's your body, it's your relationship with yourself and your body, which you know I really subscribe to. Your relationship with God or the universe or whatever you define as your higher power, because I really do think that's so important, that kind of connection. Your intimate relationships with your friends, family, lover, whomever is really in your inner, inner circle. And then your relationship to money and your career. Breaking it down into those four sections just makes things a little bit easier. And obviously there's a million subsections within each of those, but that's not a bad way to start, you know, kind of from the top down. But I will tell you that if you are good at manifesting abundance in only one area, if you're really good and responsible with your money, but you have this attitude of, I don't necessarily want to share my ideas because someone might steal them. Well, that's scarcity right there. So that's also going to hold your money game back. If you have, if you are very giving and very generous of your time and your expression of love um, and you are really in abundance that way, but you don't treat your money with respect, then you're not living, you're still living in scarcity. So what I would offer to you is even if you start at kind of a lower level to get everything balanced, that kind of balance and looking at each of these aspects of your life and trying to invest each of them with that attitude of abundance is where you can start to really create true abundance. And once you, you know, just like anything else, once you start that very heavy wheel to turn, you will get a momentum and one will affect the other, will affect the other, and the changes will go faster and faster. I always come back to my technique of embedding any real change that you want to make in your physical body with a marker so you can remember, like, if you start to get, say, 
pulled in or you feel tight or you feel guarded, right? Because that's a form of scarcity. Not sharing yourself, your gifts and your love is a form of scarcity. So when your heart starts to close down, give yourself that muscle memory. And I'm just going to review quickly how I do that. I, you, it can be an image, but for me, physical touch, shocker, I pick a spot on my body. I give it a feeling, a squeeze, so I can embed in my body that decision. So when I feel myself going to scarcity, I remind myself, let's try to disrupt this pattern. Let's make a new decision for our new paradigm. And in that moment, you can get the reset. You're not going to fall into the rut of your old neural pathway. You're going to help create a new one. And the reminder of giving it a physical cue just helps your brain restart. And just like anything else, if you do this consistently, you will see the shift. But you need to pay attention to every area of your life. And you need to be consistent. And honestly, that is really the secret to everything, isn't it? Consistency and application of that consistency into the four areas that make your time here on earth in this body amazing and unlimited or scarce-based and you'll live small for your whole life. And you don't deserve that because God gave you a gift and charged you to share it. It is unlike anyone else's gift. I promise you that. You just don't remember what it is. And I hope to help you discover. Remember, not discover. It's already fucking in there. You own all the wisdom you already need. You just forgot it. It got buried under the roles that you needed to take. You, Your life situation forced you to shut down that part of yourself. But I invite you to start to listen, to start to allow those things that naturally bubble up inside you and make you excited, let them come out a little. Because that is the source of your abundance. That is how the fire will get started. And all you have to do is keep blowing on those sparks and they will catch. They will catch. And I hope to help you along that way. I hope this resonated with you. If you felt any spark, let me know. Let me know what came up for you today. Let that settle into you and see if you feel something start to bubble and percolate. I'll see you tomorrow.